Hey, it's March 23rd, 2023. This is Dr. Fryer, and this is a quick video to give you some tips about putting the wheels on your Pinewood Derby car. We have 3D printed our Pinewood Derby cars. Uh, this is actually mine. And uh, tip number one is gonna be to be sure you do not use the hammer and push them too far in because if you can see this on my back wheels, okay, I've got nice spins here. Look at this guy. He's barely spinning and it's because I hammered it too far and what I'm trying to do is pull it out but it's really hard to pull it out once you've you know got it pushed in too far so just be careful that you don't uh, put it down so far that um, you know it's smashed up against the side of the car because then it's not going to go very fast so thanks to Mr. Johnson who is the expert at this uh, what we have done is we've taken a two millimeter drill bit and you can see over here with the vise um, but we have, uh, and I'm going to do this, students, for all of you, so your um, tires are already going to be drilled out. We have drilled out a two millimeter hole, okay, using the two millimeter drill bit. So they're ready to receive your axles. So now, um, what I also did was I did use a file. So this is an optional thing that you can do. Um, if you want to, you can take, and the, the reason you might want to do this is when your axle nail, Let's talk about this. Here's our wheel, here's our axle. It's gonna go on like this, and we're gonna put it inside the hole of our car, right? So when the nail is made and it's pinched, there can be two little um, burrs, basically, that are there. And if you watch the Mark Rover video about uh, Pinewood Derby, uh, he talks about filing. So one way to do this is we're gonna put the actual axle and put it onto the drill bit, okay, just on the end. I can turn it the right way. Okay, so it's on the drill bit. And then we have a file. I can spin it. And what I'm gonna do is basically just try to put this on the end here. And I'm just trying to get that end so that it doesn't have that burr on it, okay? So I did, I actually had done that already, but that's filing. And he talks, Rover talks about sanding. We don't have sandpaper. The next thing we're gonna do before we are ready to nail this thing in is we're going to cant it. So we got this fancy Derby Works um, special tool that is made for canting our wheels. Um, and so I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to lock it down. The set screw is already in place. And then you can put this down on the table if you want to, or you can pull it up. Now, before we do that, if you take a Sharpie and you mark the Sharpie at the top, showing the 12 o'clock position, okay? That's gonna be able to tell you when or where to position your axle so that it's canted correctly. You know, what Rover says you wanna do is you wanna have a little bit of a cant going towards the inside. Now, this, this is not set to have a super, super dramatic uh, cant. Um, but what you're going to do is, again, you can be holding this down, pushing it. You're just going to basically bend it, and that's going to bend the nail. So the nail is slightly bent so that it's going to have a cant. All right? Okay. So now we're ready to go ahead and put this on. So we're going to put this in here. And, okay. So I've got my last wheel to put in here. So I'm going <laughs> to, I'm gonna pay attention to where my little mark is, showing me my 12 o'clock position. Okay, I'm gonna put that up at the top. Again, I've already drilled my hole. So I've got that in the 12 o'clock position. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hammer that in. Now, you don't want it to be that loose. But at the same time, you don't want it to be as tight as that one. So, reasonably, reasonably good. The trick I've got to try to do without breaking it now is get this thing out a little bit more. All right, so, da -da, I've got my wheels on my car. I'm ready to race it. Uh, not quite, actually, I've got to, I think I need to get that one down a little bit more. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to need to, um, angled. I'm going to need to put graphite on it and I'll do that the day that I'm going to race, but I'll go ahead and show you this on the, on the track. I want to give a big shout out to Todd Johnson, Mr. Johnson, our STEM and Makerspace teacher, 
here in the ideas department at Providence Day School who has been doing this fantastic lesson for like four years. And uh, if you wanna have access to lesson materials, uh, giving credit to Mr. Johnson, you can go to my website, lessons.westfire.com and then click the link for engineering because we're doing this in sixth grade engineering class and check it out. Oh, so sad.